out on the offensive. Anyone could be anywhere in the moment, and now with 30 seconds remaining, TSM have to try and force themselves upon this site. The only issue is they don't have the time to try and pull all of these smokes away from always. They have to try and find a different plant spot. Luckily enough, Geo is going to open up the far side of the CCTV space as Bolo rotate back across to be ready for a red drop here as they try and put pressure on these players. Gonna try to swing it in here. The shot's coming in to try and mask the players in. Geo will at least get to start his first plant attempt. Nitro is available and properly utilized. The two for one shade exchanges it out. Empire try to force their way back in and they succeed as they hold the line on round number one, taking the lead against TSM. Continues to hold the angle through small office, but now TSM needs to start breaking up this kitchen wall as well. An impact up top won't be able to get the initial one, but doesn't get the second. It will indeed as will break that up. With very minimal time now and zero exothermic charges for Geo, they're going to have to try and get something else done across the map. They also have to worry about this rotation from Shepard down low as he had dropped down the elevator hatch earlier on. For Edgar Nade out to be able to try and clear out some utility or some area inside of the kitchen, but out's Nitro cells for the defense to hold back TSM even further. The case is down in sight. Bolo's dead as well. TSM has no answers, and this is looking like an Empire round all over again. Great picture of what this overall setup looks like just yet here. Empire's been doing a great job of denying it. TSM's already used half their drone count. Merc walks by a potential free kill against Joystick, and he turns it around, but at the same time, Chala and Bolo, and now Bolo oh. again! What was that? As he snipes out, snapshots down from the side of his screen. Chala, he gets number four, and now Joystick's left alone on an island here. A 1v3 but set against him, and he cannot maintain as Bolo gets one more kill to finally put TSM on the board. It's going to be a fake here as Dan takes so much damage. Connecting a lot, and still with plenty of extra time here, TSM seems to have learned their lesson from the previous attempt, but they still need to get themselves in and not lose their entire stack here. Joystick and Shepard both knocking out players. The plant does get itself down here, but the post-plant positions are going to be incredibly weak. Look at Empire rushing all the way upstairs here now to collapse against the remnants of TSM, which has already been brought down to two due to another kill being found by Empire. Achieved and Geo need to waste out these last 30 seconds here, and Achieved puts himself on a good footing to start this one off. As he goes back to Copier and catches always dropping down through the stock catch here. Achieved as well. Ready to stop this. They need to push back in and it's all going to fall into Achieved. Stops the first counter refuse attempt. Second one hasn't been started yet, but Achieved gets cut off by Joystick. And with Dan being nearby the case, there'll be plenty of time for him to hop back onto it. Another round going into the pocket of Empire as they maintain the lead. Three to one. But they work both ways. That's the big thing. TSM starting to lose bodies. They need to be forceful in this area as a team. Fred Grenade out here. It won't find its mark. Joystick with yet another kill, and now we're down into the three versus three. Can Bolo be the difference maker? It's Geo first to take down Joystick as they continue on into the site. Dan with one, Dan with two, Scyther with one as well, and Empire shuts it down in the 3v3. Empire. Looking feisty. Merc knows one's coming down the stairwell, but he can't win it. Joystick, he doesn't need the 1.5. He'll just slam him with a hollow instead. A complete switch up in the early round confidence, and now it's Empire going out wildly here. Despite that loss over towards Spiral, Geo's gonna go for a planet tip, and look at this overwatch from the repel positions. Chala and Bolo executing both the players that try to stop the plant here. Shepard seemingly had an angle on the plant through soft breach, but was not going to be able to detect it apparently, so he lets it go off here. Post plant positions are now maintained for TSM, and suddenly this is a much tougher round for Empire. We see that impact go out, but it drops to the ground as Achieve snipes out always before he can get anything done. Shepard's been found as well by Achieve, and now Scyther, he's already been scouted out due to a flank drone positioned over here in lobby. He's got no one to try and pull into this fight here. They know exactly what every single move he make is going to be here. And with only five seconds left, he'll have no time remaining. TSM will secure the expected second round here and at least make the scoreline close as we get ready to head into the second half. have to make the grand stand. CEO, or rather uh, CCTV, now the priority here for Empire as they begin breaking things up downstairs from the server basis. Geo will begin smoking this off and making it difficult to plant for a time here as does he still have plenty of utility? He's got one more in the pocket. The EMP is going to go wide over towards the actual uh, door frame, so won't be able to stop it there, but it might be Chala instead. Is Shepard already halfway through this plant? Are they going to stop it? It's Bolo with the nitro cell, and now Empire has to hop too, but nobody
pretty close to home. TSM win the basement defense. That track with the backpack. So instead, I'll have to stick to this as Joystick just pre-fires through. Merck's been down, but so is Scyther. Always will pick up Merck's down to Chala and Geo on site to try and get timing. something done. But the timing indeed, my friend. It'll take out Chala. It'll take out Geo. It's a flawless round from Empire. Seconds of the round from Empire. Speaking of which, it's looking like we're going to be pretty close to that here as they have their breach, they have their opening, but they don't have the player count cleared out yet. And now Merck going to finally swing out once again here to claim his second kill. Chala getting another one here for the team as Dan falls. He's the only Shepard in the fight, and he too has no idea where TSM are. So Geo's going to knock him out. And with that, once again, an exchange is picked up here. A two to one overall site chair for TSM as they're going to rotate back downstairs into the basement and try and tie this up one more Side, time. Especially over towards the actual hall space. Yeah, you won't be able to see Gold Vault, but you really don't need to. You can just assume people are in that area as Geo gets taken down. So many softballs inside of this space, and now he's dusted. Always picks him up, and they're looking to get the plant down now. Shepard to start it off, but no delay unless Chala has something for it, and he does. He'll be able to stop it this time around, but always will go looking for that yokai in the moment, and even if he stops it again, they still have plenty of time in order to plant this. Now Bolo and the rest of TSM have to do something here. Do they have the stop? Bolo will swing through. He downs one. Can he get Shepard on the back end? No, it's Shepard to win out the initial fight and the second one. Empire up and on to match point. Trying to drop themselves into the basement as long as they can exchange out the remaining kills here. Even if they lose the first duel, they will still win the round here. But at the same time, look at the time. There's only 20 seconds of it left and Empire haven't even started descending into the basement yet. Finally, that will change. It's going to be an elevator hatch drop. Not only from there, but they'll drop into Gold Bar Vault also here. Shepard trying to wrap himself in. They don't have a lot of angles to play with. And of course, no time to open up the site, but that's not going to matter if they can frag out the entire roster. Geo's down. Bolo left alive, but he doesn't even see any of the members of Empire. They take map number one here as they steal TSM's map pick with a final score of 7-4 that hatch there. Scyther is going to get down, but not fully taken out just yet. So possibility for him to maybe get revived here in a few seconds. Oh, oh Joystick with the read against the swing from Bolo, though. Beautifully played from him. And he's got a possibility of a second, but no. Doesn't account for the fact that Achieve was still going to be hiding out. They saw the toxic babes. They knew the smoke was still alive nearby. Just didn't read into the fact that he was going to go all the way out. The good news is a quick correction has already been found as Shepard gets his first kill onto the board here, knocking out one more of the insight players. Achieve still holding the line by one and he's just dropped the case outside of the garage as well. That's a big loss for Empire. Now they're going to be struggling for time here. They've got to try to DM their way out of this situation, but Chala's causing even more problems on the other side of the map. Achieve knows they're going to go for the freezer plant here, and they've only got a couple seconds to get it down on the ground. Here's the yokai. Is it going to strike? True, indeed it will, and that's going to clutch out the round for TSM. Keep in mind the Frost Trap's still going to be alive at later points in the round here. Joystick also with a lean-in against quite a few members of TSM, but they're going to keep on striking. Bolo with a second despite the low HP and Achieve finding a Nitro from down below here. Joystick's in, but he's already lost that player there as now he's going to be lost inside of the bathroom and Merc, of course, will steal all the treasure because of it. Knocking out Joystick, leaving only Scyther alive. It doesn't even look like TSM are going to get off the third floor in this round. However, Scyther has somehow negotiated himself a third kill. It's down to a 1v2 and this is quite winnable for Scyther even with the low HP. He's got 40 seconds to play this. Now I'm going to try and find one of these players through a top-down angle, but no dice as he uses the first breaching charge. Thankfully, oh. still plenty of those to go. I think he accidentally throws out a stun instead of, yep, the breaching charge. So a little gaff there, but easy correction here and more than likely not going to have a great use for that second stun charge anyway. As he leaps over the banister to get himself into hell here and try to push himself into the site. It's looking like he's lost the plot, though, just guessing for players, hoping to run into a rotate from TSM, but he's not going to find it. TSM are holding back. They're keeping themselves in sight, and now they know that Scyther's going for this 90 push. He doesn't have a way to fight into it here, and he's going to unscope at just the wrong moment. Does Chala. anyone know that he's here? Huge. He has to have some info, something in order to do. But either way, worked his way up in through stacks. He's found the initial frag. Those one's got to be near Freezer, but luckily enough, Bolo's taken one down, but Bolo's iced as well, and Dan's found the frag round three goes to Empire got the Intel on him and are gonna start to smoke him out as well as achieved but doesn't think Empire have the full confidence to go for it though despite these smokes being used that's of course not until we see joystick absolutely ice out Geo knocking him down and opening up the floodgates for the rest of Empire to start swinging in Merck though with the good cutoff and the response
to this hatch drop. He's going to drop the case on the ground. However, temporarily here, Dan's already retrieved it, and he's going to go for the first real planet tap. Here comes Bolo on the lurk up through the wood stairs, though. He catches always. He's going to try to stop the plant, but no. Dan's got it in a safe position. He's going to lock it down. Nearly kills Bolo, but Bolo still causing problems from upstairs here. He gets the third kill. Scyther's the only one left here, but he's got a frag to bring out as well. Manages to take down Shala. Two more still to go. He's found the second one. Both players now off the counter to Fuse, but Achieve will shut him down. Knock out Scyther and give us another round for TSM as they maintain the lead at 3-1. to one. These rounds as he knocks out one of the most pivotal players we've seen so far in this series from Empire. Joystick down for the count here. That's going to delete the Yana from play. The free drone's no longer a factor, and now the Sledge is well removed from play as Merc is locked in on a Nitro Cell play to be able to take him down. Dan desperately hunting for a trade, but no. Geo finally going to get his first kill in this map as well by knocking out Scyther. And oh, oh no! <laughs> we saw it sitting on the floor at the beginning of the round, but that's the problem. It players tunnel vision. They're going to walk into frost mats like that one. They need to get something else done inside of this space. He'll use his Xkyros on the single panel here for Cocktail as that starts to open up. But Empire still have a lot to do inside of this moment. Dan pre-fires for bathroom. He'll find Bolo as he continues to try and traverse himself up the white hallway, but instead starts to go in towards showers. So much to worry about that F2. Can it get it done? Achieve with a beautiful swing here for TSM as they start to take down member after member of Empire. What a shot from Shepard, but it's not going to be enough. With only three ah, seconds and achieved on white going. stairs, they'll lock it up and make a 5-1 half at a cafe. Just be able to highlight that this area has been cleared out. Frag grenade out, but it's not going to be able to bounce in, and that's going to be a freebie here from Dan! And just like John said, this is not a fight that you want, TSM. Do not step up in pixel with a man playing bathroom. Otherwise, that's what you're going to get. Empire already starting off strong here for round seven. Little bits of damage being bled off the roster from Empire. You could see every single member of the team, except for Scyther, has lost half of their HP or more. But it does not matter if they cannot close down on these. Geo being given a dangerous amount of control, but he's lost one of his other teammates and can't even find always either. Achieve finally exchanging onto one, but now he's the only one left here. Has to stick the plant. Three members of Empire still alive and well, and they're just going to shoot him out from down below. Empire secure their first hold on the defensive side as they try to come back into this now two to five three rounds to go and they'll tie us More up frags it's gonna be one of the real members of tsm down low here as merc has been taken out so really nothing to do when it comes to their clear and that gemini clone they begin to work themselves in for reading now shepherd still with some utility in his pocket as this plant continues to go down from geo but he's found a safe space over in the corner this is going down so easily and tsm they've been able to achieve at least that bolo takes down shepherd it's up to always now who's stuck inside a fireplace Hall. He at least has Geo over in the corner on low HP. He did not end up getting down in that scenario. It's going to be the easy kills back and forth, but no, they can't find it through the soft breach. He had the initial insight, but no, he can't get it done. It's achieved instead. He hops off a new balcony and finds the kill in fireplace, and they found their six round. Finca on this offensive side here, past the LMG and past the nades as well. Just so much to offer here, especially when you're able to pressure like this. Bolo takes down one. Bolo will find his second as Achieve tags on as well. And this round is starting to pull into the TSM favor. Can Scyther do anything about this? Misses some crucial shots on the VIP player. Or he'll hop back into coat check to try and survive these last 20 seconds. Scyther locked in a box there. Not much he can do about it. But like we were talking about earlier, always can bank these incendiaries and keep the members of TSM, for the most part, locked to the inside. Is a big mistake made there. Geo's dropped. That's the case down in an awkward position. Scyther's out as well. Empire are doing it. They're bringing it back. But okay. Here we go, Bolo. He's retrieved case control. He's got it down on the ground. It doesn't look like Empire have any positioning to stop this here. Great overwatch coming in from Chala as it's now secured by Bolo. And always left alone with only about 35 seconds to get himself back over the case and get this counter defuse going. Will he be able to clutch that? Will he be able to push this map forward? Or are we going to coastline? That's the big question in play. And the answer comes swiftly as Bolo secures yet another kill. Coastline is coming up next here as TSM strike back on map number two and take their opponent's map pick away from them.
possibility of another here as Shepard steps up, but he's only going to take a little bit of damage, but it's starting to add up here on the Empire lineup. Achieved, he's going to throw an uncooked nade down low as the swing Whoa. comes through, and Shepard's going to win it out. Unfortunate for Achieved as he was simply not ready for the swing, and this timer now dwindling low. TSM needs a plant or at least a space in order to achieve this as the sun start to pour in. Always, he'll be able to find one inside of the lobby, but the damage now coming back onto Empire as Dan will fall, so will Shepard, and Joystick and Always, they're all the way across the map, but luckily enough, Joystick, he's worked his way back in. Bolo with the oversight, though, as he'll be able to take down Joystick. It's all left up to Always, but he doesn't have an angle to stop this plant, and it's looking more and more like a TSM round, unless Always has more to say. Good start to the 1v4 clutch, at least, as he cuts the head off of Chala, but three more players to knock out, and barely any time left to get himself in position towards the site. This move from Empire to try and get aggressive against the lobby, hold the swing back around towards it, with two of their players might have sealed the deal for TSM as it left far too little presence on the site. They had the capability to delay, and it looked like they were going to be able to waste the clock down, but not anymore after they swung those players towards security. TSM open up the floodgates to Sunrise Bar. Right now for TSM. Yes, they've been able to secure Joystick, but they need even more. Unfortunately enough, Achieve will gift it to them as he takes down Shepard. TSM say, okay, you won't let us in on the horizontal play? Fine, we will take it vertically as they're going to go for the artillery strikes from down below here. Knocked out one player and is down to second. Joystick here. Not going to be able to more than likely get himself back up. I say that, but Dan's certainly thinking about it as he's got the rotate position to open up. And oh no, always nearly having his life taken away. They're a second to go also. Both him and Dan with a sliver of HP to play with. And here comes Chala up the blue rotate here. It's a flurry of kills for TSM and it's not going to stop. Four in a row to shut down this round as they take the lead again. Barrels and possibly going to have two, if not three members of TSM bearing down on him in a moment. But he'll also have potential support coming out from security. Not going to need it to start this though. That's a clean head shot to eliminate Bolo and knock him out, but like I said, there's two other players that want him dead, but no! Dan fends off the second player working his way in from service. Actually, it's one that came through the front door. The service player, Geo, is able to finally catch the exchange against him, putting TSM back into a somewhat palatable position at a 2v3. Empire's been fighting so hard on these defensive sides, and it's finally paying off as they have the man advantage going into the last 30 seconds. TSM have so much to do, and honestly, they really don't have the manpower to do it. Achieved is going to have to get so many kills here while Geo tries to put this plant down, and Empire in some very pivotal positions. With only 10 seconds remaining, Geo works his way in and starts to plant on the couch for Sunrise. Shepard taking a lot of heat now as he moves through. He'll take down the member, and that's more than likely going to be the round as Achieved tries to jump in he can't even find yet another player of empire as empire will indeed take this round sunrise achieved now taking a lot of heat but do they know that he's actually inside of the site no, no they don't shepherd he simply walks back through the rotating gets taken out but so does shala he's been downed and now empire they have to work their way back towards kitchen but where's the case at it's currently on geo and geo's nowhere near the site they're over inside of sunrise for the time being charla's down inside of the sunroom space the site there will take him down but they still need this plant. Two blundered intel plays and a loss 1v1 have cost Empire tremendously inside of the fifth round here. TSM does not have full control over it just yet, however. You can see always still going to try to delay things from upstairs. That could be a powerful position. However, where's the counteraction to the plant? It's going down and no one's here to stop it. Here comes Scyther, though. He's dropped one. He's going to give the planter a chance to refrag, but it won't happen. A third kill is picked up by Scyther and now achieved with less than 5 HP. Has to clutch it out in the post plant. Scyther and always on the other end of this one and in just a second they're probably going to jump onto their first counter to fuse achieve though has the counter angled for this but does he have the reads on these last two members of empire hasn't been able to find out the positions of either one of them but he's working on a big flag to try and catch them right now they're looking for him as well but neither one going to be revealed there's the spam it gets them off play but always has got the catch he's going to knock out achieved and empire will take the lead do not peek especially with merc in this position he'll be able to try and assist here as dan tries to fire through the wall but Look at all of this time that they've now wasted. And Merc, he's just going to swing him instead. Geo takes down one as well as Merc tries to swing through. But it's Bolo that takes down always as they dice up Empire inside of Sunrise. They can't have any of this. TSM knocks him out of the building. And now it's just down to Shepard inside of a 
one versus five. The quote Canadian, you try getting him out of that position. You try flushing him out there. You try throwing all those nades at him. It doesn't matter. He's ready for the challenge regardless of the circumstances as Bolo holds the line. He, yet position. he still has a slight corner to play for him. Really banking on the fact that no one from Empire are going to pop that window open, though this is still a very dangerous position. But so far, reading it correctly as he shuts down Dan, and there's no Overwatch to trade him. Nothing to do now for Empire. They need something serious in the moment. And luckily enough, it's a trade from Scyther. The Shepard takes down Bolo. It's up to Achieved in order to get this done. He swings through. He can't find the initial frag. And it's Shepard with the secondary SMG, the Barry 9, able to strike true here and equalize us yet again. End up popping that wall open as there's really no answer for the defense any longer. Dan trying to hold the rotation here for Vibes as well. So there's no escape for the time being for the base player unless he wants to try and rotate to the other side or remove the head off of always. That always works too. Gio now will be holding on to billiards here as they've slowed up Empire's offense. But oh no, joystick on the back end. He'll take down Merc as that will remove the 90 player and he'll take down Bolo. Empire's got the overwatch and they've got the round. Back Back to back yet again here for Empire. One currently inside of this area, but might end up running into some problems now as we still have a Geometrics all the way up inside of the bathroom, but it's Merc instead. He is just running amok of this entire offense. They can't get in front of him. Dan has to kill him here and he does, but now that will give up where Dan is as well. He's at the front door and achieved. He's going to be able to play this out. They have no idea where he is. The Nitro sell out, but it's not gonna do much. He gets stuck to the top of the door and he's dead. It's, it's a two down. versus two and the plant's going down for Scyther. Dan wants out another kill. It's a triple for him. Chala has to clutch things up like he's done all year for TSM. It's slowed down inside of stage three, but they need him here inside of the upper bracket. Can Chala get it done with the 81? He steps up to the plate inside of Kegs. Has some damage with the impact, and it's looking doable in the moment. He needs to win one of these gunfights, though. There's 25 seconds on this clock as he shifts back into stalls. He knows one's got to be around the space, but he sprints in. Whoa. He finds Scyther. Can he get it done outside though oh what a great move here from dan the window will break up and he knows that he has it on time he gets it, he gets it done and tsm equalize tsm i thought the round was done and dusted after that perfect comeback from dan fragging his way into the side and opening up a path that no one saw coming for empire but still the clutch is there for tsm the swing out there's another player that's gonna cross right against him are they ready for the fight oh no chala backs away from it too early so shepherd survives and always they're on top of the hatch for the refrag, but Achieve refrags himself as he's able to find Dan at the bottom of Cool Vibes. Now with only 34 seconds remaining here, something has to be done. It's all down to Achieved. And ladies and gentlemen, do you believe? That's the real question. The plant going down now as Empire has amazing overwatch for this. Always. always. What a time to be alive for an Empire fan as he comes off the top rope and ends his existence. Up one of the first ones here. He's going to chuck a drone in, masks it as well, gets it to the inside. So that's going to find out where Chala's at. He falls up with the Nitro. Oh! And they're going to get each other. Chala hits the button dials the number just in time as Scyther chops his head off with his final moments of life in this round also. It's the dead man's hand here as it just blows him sky high. But Joystick finds Merch, or rather Merc, who's stepping up a little bit too aggressively here inside of the space. And now for TSM, 40 seconds remain from them in overtime or going to the lower bracket. Bolo will be able to get rid of the drone initially here as Empire starts to push themselves up the stairwell. It's a stun out here from Always as he tries to have some influence over this space. Shepard also putting the plant down, but will he be able to stick it? He will more than likely, especially Especially after Joystick takes down Bolo, and it's a four versus two going for TSM into the post plant. Geo's out in the open, but now down on the ground here. Achieve with a position in cool vibes, though. Catches one of the members of Empire. He's got so much to contend against, though. A direct fight at the top of cool vibes is waiting for him here. He spotted the player in the corner of his eyes, but it's not going to be enough. Always shuts it down. And Empire are your first grand finalists of the sixth Invitational 2022.